What will Fernando do? Down by one in the eighth. We'll get to that. But first, how did Darvish get the Padres partly in this spot? Start off the second good. Strike out, but then double down the line. Horner gets to second. Profar tried to get him. Ball four dotted, though, on the broadcast which is a strike, but there's a little bit of room there. Inning changing pitch because could have been out of the inning, but then hit by pitch. A hit there brings in a couple of Cubs runs, 2-0. Just hung it, and then walk to Suzuki. Bellinger, middle of the plate, pass Crony, brings in a couple more runs. Now it's 4 to nothing. not feeling good. Darvish gets out of the second. Finally, Pedro Avila, though, bases loaded, sack fly. It's 5-0. Now it's 6-0. Anything that was going wrong, that could go wrong, was going wrong for the Padres. Just barely down the line. Dansby now just out of the reach. Everything going wrong for the Padres. Just out of the reach of Fernando. It's an 8-0 game. What is that, Spider-Man celebration? But then Cronenworth. A home run there puts the Padres on the board, kind of like Chris Paul. Big three to be down by like 40. That's what it felt like in the moment. But then Manny gets on. Profar with the hit. Manny gets to third, first and third. Kim takes it the other way. How do you miss this ball? I don't understand that by the right fielder. But Padres, they cut the lead in half. Campy does whatever it takes. Ground ball, scores a run, 8-5. Now Jackson Merrill, a bloop single. Whatever it takes to win. And then Bogarts with a home run. Just look at the sound of this. What a sound, huh? Now Jackson Merrow up. Bottom eight, down by one. Top of the order is about to come up. Do whatever it takes to get on base. He doesn't care if he is the guy to do it. He just wants to help the team win. Here is him pregame, not caring about his four for four day the previous day. Honestly, like in the most respectful way possible, couldn't care less about four for four. My main goal is to win the game, and we lost. At the end of the day, we didn't win the game, and that's our main goal here. So that's Jackson Mara for you. Love it. So there's the walk. Not afraid to not be the guy. Just get on base. Here's Tatis. First pitch inside on him. Now, remember, he's doing this while he's wearing Tony Gwynn cleats. What better thing to do than to have a signature moment and hit a go-ahead home run on the 20th anniversary of Petco Park opening. That just seems like a money ball music type moment. And here it is. Fernando. Boom. High drive. Deep left field. At the wall. Go! There it is. What a moment. You see the crowd reaction. Let's go. The bat flip. Pump in the chest. Boom. Pump fist. Tim Leeper at third, Merrill, Profar. And then the crowd gets into it at the end. Robert Suarez is a hundo, and Tatis is pumped up. What a freaking night. Down 8 nothing. Remind me of the Daniel Camarena game. And the Padres, they get the comeback win, a signature win that Padre fans may never forget.